Hi, my name is Matt Fletcher, pronouns he, him, and this is my CBBC audition. I've designed it to be viewed in both vertical on your phone and horizontal like on a laptop or TV. Admittedly, we didn't really have much budget for this and a lot of things went wrong, uh, but hopefully it demonstrates my talents and you can enjoy. Those bunny slippers. Yeah, well, I, I couldn't find my gloves. I can't see a thing. Beautiful. In the past, if you wanted to appear to be a bear, you would. Do... <laughs> Who left a crash mat here? Sorry, my bad. There. Yeah. Okay, plan B. In the past, if you wanted to play a polar bear, you'd have to wear a costume like this. But now, we can use something called motion capture. <laughs> That's not coming off. Motion capture uses a computer to capture motion, allowing the actor to play practically any character digitally. It's used in TV, movies, and even video games, and I couldn't wait to give it a go. So I put on my surprisingly tight motion capture suit. I was then covered in special white dots, which, um... And just say they reflect light that the computer or the cameras can see. Uh, keep it simple. Reflect light that the computer, or the cameras, can see. Now that I've got all these dots on me, the camera can recognise all of my movements. This created my digital skeleton, allowing the computer to pick up all of the feats of physical fitness that you saw earlier. My skeleton has now been put into a computer program called Unreal Engine 5, so as if by magic, I can now instantly be transformed into a polar bear. Uh, we don't have a polar bear. Okay, whatever you got closest. Okay. But it's not just characters that I can create, I can also choose location. Perhaps the Arctic. Yeah, we don't have the Arctic. Despite these minor hiccups, I got into character and practiced moving how I felt, whatever this thing is, moved. After some stretches and a healthy snack, I felt a lot better and was able to take full advantage of this amazing technology. Trying to do this in a bulky costume would be nearly impossible, but thanks to motion capture, I felt like I could do anything. Okay, maybe not in the real world. If you enjoyed this, you can check out more content on BBC iPlayer. Yeah, that's good. Cool. Thank you. How many more of these? It's way too bright. I'm Matt Fletcher and I'm standing here in the Blue Peter Garden where today I'm... I'm Matt Fletcher and I'm here in the Blue Peter Gardens where I'm going to be talking to you about sustainability and the environment. The BBC tells us that the environment is very important and I'm inclined to agree with them. That's why I'm starting a brand new campaign. Support climate change. You need some punctuation there, mate. One of the best things that everyone can do to help the environment is to pick up litter. So I'm going to take my litter picker and see if we can find some around the Blue Peter Garden. So I searched around, but I couldn't seem to find any litter anywhere. Does that count? Actually nothing. And so, I came up with a plan. What are you doing? Well, I need the bottles to, you know, pick up. Not very sustainable, is it? How are you doing? <laughs> when you lose, Jack? So I got drinking, <coughs> and after searching in a nearby bin, and some help from Damien, I was absolutely ready to go. I shouldn't have drank all that. It would appear that someone has fly-tipped a whole bunch of plastic bottles which could be recycled, so now I'm going to pick them up. 
Once the banging had stopped, I assume in an attempt to attract Hayden, I got to work preparing my rubbish bag. And quickly realised that this looked incredibly boring. Do that one again. What do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, my name's Matt Fletcher. I'm I don't get you here. I'm doing a peep. No, I'm, 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 I, 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 yes, I pulled it out, but I'd already I picked it up. I just watched you put it in. Yeah, I, I'd already picked it up, though. Well, that's not very sustainable, is it? It's not littering. It's like I'm taking it out of a bin. Littering? Of course it's littering. I just watched you do it. No, no, this no, is I'm a beautiful trying. road we got here. This is his garden, really. Well, don't be it? smart with me, boy. Go on. Get gone. Get gone. At this point, the camera died. But we decided to leave Hayden the groundskeeper bravely, and definitely not run away. That was scary. Okay, so that didn't quite go to plan, but uh, I think the message is absolutely clear. Don't litter. Uh, and if you would like to check out more content like this, you can do so on the BBC iPlayer. Cool. And we finished, with both our dignities intact. Still need that Wiimax. No. Uh, no. Shut up! Hi, I'm Matt Fletcher and today we're going to be talking about mental health. When we hear the words mental health, a lot of the time we think about anxiety and depression, but actually everybody has mental health, in the same way that we all have physical health. It's really important that we take care of our mental health in the same way you would take care of your body. So today, to help relax and calm down, I'm going to be making a chocolate cake. It's not very healthy. It's good for the mind, Damien! The first thing we're going to need is 200 grams of self-raising flour. Oh god, ah, uh, that's too much. One tablespoon of cocoa powder. Three eggs. Oh, that's on the floor. And 200 grams of soft spread. It's uh, about right. And then we mix it all together using a wooden spoon or spatula. Taking ages. How is this relaxing? I take my phone to the ceiling to get these professional overhead shots. Add the 200 grams of sugar that I forgot to mention earlier, then grease a cake tin and place in an oven at 200 degrees for 20 minutes. And while we're waiting for that to cook, I'm going to practice icing some cakes on some that I made earlier. Now to make the icing, I'm going to use a little hack that my grandmother taught me. So I'm going to take a tin I'm going to take one tin of condensed milk Why'd you take the label off? I had to debrand it Oh, it was custard So after debranding some icing that I definitely didn't buy from Tesco I got my cakes ready and got to work Well happy with that. So next we're gonna Ah oh, it's on the walls! After this minor setback, I thought I'd relax with a refreshing glass of cucumber water. Which went well. Help! And things were about to get worse. Did you set a timer? That's burnt. Thinking fast, I realised that I could cover this up with icing. It's okay, I can fix this. I don't think this is enough. Oh, I found the custard. And then, 
something odd happened. That doesn't even make sense. With the sun going down, unlike my stress levels, I tried again. Uh, sprinkles. Sprinkles hide all crimes. Everyone likes cream. Should you not put the sprinkles on top of the cream? Where were you earlier? Oh, it's melting. Okay, quick, outros. So hopefully you can see how cooking can be a really good tool for de-stressing and calming down. Uh, and if you'd like more content like this, you can find it on the BBC iPlayer. Mm -hmm. It's over.